uh, a challenge about picking up a wait, objective based wargaming, possibly. Yeah. So I fire every three or higher. Wow, that's a great round of shooting. Is a bullet that succeeded in potentially wounding the target. I was originally planning a Symphogear uh, inspired game for this. It, you know, they pick up the relic from the field and have combat, but yeah. Um, paper miniatures is not really ideal. May I note, the game can be played with like different miniatures, it doesn't have to be like D&D or Warhammer, like proxy miniatures that a paper can work. And yeah, we just made do with what we have right now. Okay, this is actually a really, really simplified version of what I was planning, but double check because we don't have a square table. You sure you just want to go back to play chess? Huh? You sure you just want to go back? No. You sure? Yeah. Because we just we don't have a square table. It's supposed to be two feet by two feet, so. You can use a chessboard. Is it? Then again, you better return it because I'm going to play again. Yeah. Oh, Take it man. up. Okay, so. Are you sure you want me to be the one to play now, Mama? I don't know. <laughs> Mama, I thought you were saying you'd be the one. <laughs> I have a lot of side comments. Okay, you go. Okay, so. Because technically it's a smaller space than what I said to Nina. Um, you can put any of your units like four inches from the edge, so around the middle of this, you know, okay. max. And then. Anywhere? Hmm? Anywhere? I may be attacking really simple, just dice versus dice instead of having a whole chart like the other stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. The squares there are the HP. Okay. Uh, these the circles you can pick up on the next turn if your character is like touching it. Mm -hmm. And then basically, pao na hanti yung kumuha ng circles back to here, to the edge. Okay. Uh, whoever has more circles, okay. you just put three at the start of the game, mm -hmm. to the edge, mm -hmm. then more. Um, and yeah, you can actually shoot. And use your weapons. You can shoot and use your weapons like um, WB is weapon damage, so that's how much HP gets cut off. Mm -hmm. And the range is like, if you were to uh, put this on top, like how many inches from them can they attack? Mm -hmm. And then the M is movement, so when they're running to get the circles and stuff. Basically, if you see someone trying to get a circle, but you can get that circle in the next turn, you can attack them and stuff. How many spaces do you need then? Hmm? How, how much do you need every round? Once? Once. Okay. Once per character. Okay. Um, yeah, it comes down But in one round, you can move all three characters? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're just put them there now? So maximum is like half way through here, you put the blur. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's my fastest moving character.
Yeah, we don't drink the first move. <laughs> what do I do? Do I just take that? Yeah. Mm. Here's another move so we can check the distance. Here, why did you? The archer can grab that off. <laughs> why did you think I put it there? Yeah. So. It's good in sequence, yeah? Mm. You move everything first, then I move everything, and then they can you shoot can each other. That is your berserker. I mean, the next the ones with the swords. The obvious swords. After everyone gets a chance to attack, if they can attack, you can move back. If you're still holding it, I don't know. Like, if you take too much damage, I can let go. So, night is far. Archer's far. <coughs> Closer to the other one. And then Okay, since you move first you can choose to attack me if it's an issue. You just shoot up that's the archer. Archer versus archer? Yeah. <laughs> and that's the only one which stuff. Let me check something that's inside. So. Roll the die. What is it, higher or low? But, um, if the defender is higher, they dodge it. That's one damage. So, you and not a dance. If you get more than half of your damage, of your HP reduced, you have to drop the item, but since your curse is still. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're still holding it. If, if, if like, since the archer has 3 HP, if it gets 2 HP, you have to let go of it. You can't pick it up and you're wounded. Okay, so. There's nothing else in danger, right? Nope. Just the archer is looking. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot the archer and see if I can knock it. I thought it, I mean, it's not gonna deal any more damage than just one, so it's a three. That's nothing. It's just one damage. You're still holding it. Okay, so can I move back? yeah, you can you can move the archer back. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Like a captured point. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna move anything to attack or you can move anything forward or I'll leave the knife. I'll leave the knife. Is reach? One inch, just one inch. Yeah. You wanna yeah. attack the knight? The knight in? Okay, nothing happens there. 
I guess I'll attack the berserk with my knight in response now. And okay, so end of the now. You you start moving first. Oh, I'll move this guy back once you're done moving. You can try getting it out with this, yeah. If I would check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not gonna Cause you can move the archer back into the fight. Okay. Do I want to stay there with the <laughs> thing and risk losing mm -hmm. it? Or fall back? Okay. Why would you go back? Yeah, I'll, I'll move back to this thing. So it's falling behind with the other one. Yeah. And then. That's really short. I should I should change the stats. I should change the stats. It's really short. Mm -hmm. you're, I mean, you're the only one who has reach an enemy from your archer. No, you still you still get damage, right? You twelve to or higher. It's minus one. And there's nothing else you can But when you move back by the way, it's the, it's like more or less the same movement speed as your character. So your berserker can still get attacked by my knight. Like you can move him in another direction and have the archer cover or something, I don't know. Not much. I'll check. I'll check them out there, Archer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the Archer takes another hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a response to anything there? I mean, oh yeah, I'm trying to make sure. Because that's the only thing that can Yeah. I'm securing everything I see. So it's useless to try to chase with that. Yeah. yeah. Go on. I'm gonna swing with the burger. <laughs> Archer. Yeah. 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 Archer. Yeah
furniture. Yeah, I guess. So final thoughts on this, well, we kind of skipped over some of the rules there, like the relic pickup that you can multiply all your stats by two, but then again, like, um, you can play without that if you're going for more of a historical style look. The relic power up was just for flavor, so you can just omit that. Um, other than that, I think I need to have more distinguishable stats between units and models because technically a skeleton archer and a goblin archer will have different loadouts and strength and stuff. So probably just gonna edit the stat lines and that's it, I guess, for Phonic Relics. Yeah. Alright, see you next time.